Hey guys, welcome back. Carter, Bits Be Trippin'. We're gonna be taking you guys through a recap of some of the questions from the mining rig breakdown that we did and get you prepared for the building of the mining rig that we're gonna be doing here in a live stream coming up this weekend. Before that, let's take you to a quick sponsor and then we'll get right into it. Today's sponsor is Mining Disrupted. This is a crypto conference that's gonna be taking place down in Miami, Florida on July 20th and 21st. BBT will be there. And we also got a coupon code for you guys that want to attend. It's coupon code bits be tripping for saving 15% off. Links below. So sometimes you, you'll get flashing. Um, I saw somebody saying that you have to wait for the flash. Mark's talking about it, but. Uh, usually that'll happen pretty quick right when it's first booting up as it's launching the driver in the same way the MSI did when it was first when it went from the green screen which is like the base driver and it goes and switches we weren't really getting any flash and it was setting on a code 43 so what that usually means if you guys buy an aftermarket GPU and you get a code 43 there is a chance that especially the RX series that somebody had modified the BIOS, which this more than likely being that this is an RX 488 gig has a modified BIOS and it's a non-signed BIOS. So you're going to get an error. That pixel patch of there just does a driver signing and then kind of gets around that issue and accepts the fact that that's thing. So, the pixel patcher is installed. Let's all right, and has signed that driver. Let's see if we get back and don't have a code 43. All right, we're back up. Let's check and see if we got rid of the code 43. We still have the code 43. So we can let it set here for a second. Uh, there is a chance that this GPU's this is part of its issue is that this GPU is dead. Now, obviously, we'll test this outside of Windows. I'll test this also in Linux just to see. And there is a BIOS switch on this, too. But this could be part of the damage. Sometimes when you've had, like, physically damaged GPUs, sometimes they'll boot and they'll give you a display, but they have something else going on with them. It could also be the driver that we have installed is sketch and is, like, not compatible with the old RX 480. Most of their sweet drivers, because I don't remember which driver set we have on here. This might be the block, the older blockchain drivers too on this test build. We'll see if we can get it installed. Can you do a video on showing us how to modify the BIOS? Well, so Richard, a lot of the BIOS editing anymore, you really don't need to do because a lot of the miners already take effectively with the, well, we're waiting for this. I'll explain this real quick. This is a good point. Um, and we'll have to do some, um, uh, on the edits, Vanessa, as you're tracking this, we'll want to capture this part as a specific thing. So a lot of what was going on when you would modify the RX series graphics cards from the R9 and the RX series graphics cards from um, AMD, when you were updating the BIOSes on them, you are effectively changing the memory timing. And you were changing in them where you had taken certain settings and optimized settings and you had applied those as the for the particular type of memory that was in there. So if you had Micron memory or Hynix or Samsung memory, there's four different types of memory settings in there. And you you optimized the particular BIOSes for the particular types of memory that you had for the particular amount of graphics card memory. So you would have like Sapphire micron memory that was for four gig and the sapphire micron memory with the eight gig might have completely different timings and speeds so you had to have different bioses most of all of those databases for those four different types of memory with their appropriated timings were set up in a graphics database essentially from a lot of these miners now so like when you're using like red team red miner um there's a handful of the other miners that you use they actually now will inject do a memory injection of those particular timings so you don't have to do the bios mod so you're actually getting the optimized timings now just as part of the mining thing so 
long story short road. You don't, I wanted to give you some history on it, but you don't necessarily need to do the timing anymore, especially on like the Linux side where it's really optimized, where it's going to use the latest uh, timings for the particular GPUs. But you may get into a situation where you, you know, buy an aftermarket GPU and you're going to get a code 43 and you're like, what the hell's going on if you're trying to use it in Windows? And doing that, that pixel patcher signing, the driver signing, will then get rid of that code 43 for you most of the time. You could also have like a bad, G, a bad riser, like this could be a goofy riser. I mean, it did work with the other GPU. Let's go here and look. Yeah, that's fine. It's just saying that it installed that the right one for it. There's still a, a good chance that we could have something physically wrong with this GPU. There's also a BIOS switch on this one, so I could switch to a different BIOS to just see if that's what it is. If there's like a bad BIOS on this. I don't think there was, though, whenever he, my friend had chipped it. I don't think he put his, a different BIOS on it either. There are some optimized BIOSes that still seem to work a little better. So for the folks that are like maybe heard that you had just like this really optimized BIOS that the miners aren't uh, taking advantage of the settings from it. There are some other tweaks. There's hex tweaks too, especially with certain types of memory like HBM2 where you can get, there's a lot more um, optimization when it comes to like HBM2 type of cards. Like, so for the Vega 56 and 64 cards, there's a lot of uh, like in memory tweaks that you can do for specific algorithms that would really take advantage of it. Um, so it looks like the latest, like the update of the driver plus the code 40 uh, with the other, we, we fixed it. So you saw the steps there. I did the pixel patcher and then I just tried to force a new driver because I couldn't tell if the driver that was on this computer was not picking up that RX 480. It did pick up the 580, but it looks like the driver fix fixed it for us. All right, guys, hope you like that question and answer style. Please let me know down in the comments below if you like that snip from those live streams. A lot of good content, I think, comes from those question and answers. That is you guys asking the question and me kind of going through it in long format. Hopefully the real snip of this is something that you guys like. Be sure to like and subscribe on the channel. That does help us out quite a bit. It gets the exposure to the channel more, which allows us to provide more content to you guys and get some more folks hired to bring you guys stuff. So we're going to be having that live stream, as I said in the beginning of this. Be sure to tune into that. It's going to be both simulcasted on YouTube and on Twitch. So either format will work for you guys, and we will catch you guys on the next one.